<laughs> you are a cat at heart. Uh, Elvis is over here. Hello, oh, Elvis. He loves people. He just wants to be on the camera. Okay. So, right behind this fan. We're not trying to tilt this thing on. Get up under there. Grab a hold tight, especially if you don't have a stable um, countertop. Cut down. And we'll start right here. Now, white bass are a little easier to clean than most fish, but you don't want to get too deep in there or else you start puncturing those ribs. Okay. A little lower. Poke, poke it through. And just keep on going. And you'll see that we have all this under here. We let them bleed. We ripped off their gills, which is one of the biggest things you need to do if you don't like that fishy taste. Most people don't. And slowly go through. And you'll start feeling it go over those rib that rib cage. Just keep going over. Now keep a balanced board. Not cut yourself. It'd be a, a key thing you don't want to do. And then just come back in. Ooh, we got a bone in there. There you go. So this is your bloodline right here. You gotta cut that out. This isn't a big bass. It's not like the stuff we caught up at Tetsoma that you'll see here in a couple videos. If not the next one. Just cut that right off. It's cleaning the cooler. Mom yelling at me for letting the water run. Here, we'll finish that in a second. We're gonna get to the other side of this bass. So just right behind that gill. Good little cut. And from that area. Now the general rule is never cut towards yourself, so don't do as I'm doing. Do as I am preaching. Um, you really don't want to hurt yourself, especially with a sharp fillet knife. As I mentioned, this was my grandfather's who just sharpened it. You can even see the ribs right in there. Looking good enough. Watch me do this, Mom. Huh? At least you didn't have to watch me do this. So, one of the issues I'm dealing with right now is that bottom fin. Do not want that. This is ultimately what you want. There's not a lot of meat right there, so we're going to cut through. You're really just going to have this little strip right here. But we will talk to you here in just a second as we finish cleaning these bass.